So if you click on the link in your email, you will come to this homepage for ESR. Um, up here in the top right hand corner, you can log into ESR. Um, I've already done this, so all my details have been saved, but you will type in the username you've received in your email, um, enter your password. If you're doing this for the first time, you will be given the option to create a password and uh, the page will help you with that, with what you need to do with that. Once you've entered everything, log in. It might take a bit of time, maybe my internet is slow. And then we've logged in and this is your dashboard for ESR. Um, you can have a look down the side here and you can change your personal details. All of my personal details are wrong, so I will change them in a minute. Here we have uh, my equality and diversity. So in this section, you can edit your ethnic origin, your country of birth, your sexual orientation, your religious belief, and your marital status. Um, all of mine are correct, but I think that my country of origin isn't entered. So uh, again, I will change that and you can see the process. Then you can scroll down, there's the Twitter feed, so you can see all the lovely tweets from the comms team at Cambridge University Hospitals. Um, you can see your appraisals and reviews when they're upcoming, what you've done before. And most importantly here is the go paperless function, which is something that we're really trying to encourage. Mine at the moment is on no, I'm gonna switch it to yes. Uh, are you sure you want to opt out of receiving paper pay slips and P60s? Yes, please, I will go paperless. So now all of my pay slips will just arrive here in ESR. I'm also gonna click on a yes here, so I get an email whenever a pay slip is available for me to see. Um, we'll go through the process of accessing your pay slips and P60. It's pretty simple. It's basically just click the link and it will download for you, but we'll go through that um, after we've had a look at this page. So, um, like I said before, my details are wrong on here, so I'm just going to update my contact details just to show you how easy it is. Um, so you click on the con update my contact details. It comes up with your address. This address is wrong for me, but I've blurred it out so you can't see it anyway, but take my word for it, it's wrong. Um, I'm going to change my email address as well because that is wrong. I don't use that anymore. Um, so I've updated all my details, click save. My request has been successfully completed. Now all of my details are up to date. Um, that would also be the same if I wanted to update any of these details on here. So let's have a look at the equality and diversity details to see if I can update any of these. Um, I don't have a country of birth in there, so maybe I should add that. And it will give us a long list. I'll go to the bottom to see if I can find United Kingdom. It's not under you. For some reason, it's not under you. Let's scroll up, see if we can find it. Is it Britain? No, there it is. Great Britain. There it is, United Kingdom. But you could change these details here as well. So the next step is working out how to download our payslips, which we will have a look at in a second.